Okay, so today, today, what are we working on? I add back a few layers, so that's good. It means a uh, new follower like action should have some animation stuff. I put back my Streamlabs things in my teams. Um, and today I want to work on the AZ URL shortener. There's a lot of, of things happening there. That project grow bigger than I thought. I was not planning to have like like it's a tiny open source project but it's my biggest so I'm not used to uh, that kind of traffic and I feel guilty when I don't merge the pull requests or fix the issues and stuff like that and right now there's just a lot of stuff so I want to simplify that uh, so what I'm thinking and today I want to kind of see if it makes sense uh, because I don't want to drop anything I just want to move things make it cleaner simpler easier to use and stuff like that so when I created the, the AZ URL shortener you know what let's put that in the note and at the same time You know what? Let's do um, plan of the stream. A little time log. So when I created that, the AZRL shortener, it was a way to have fun because you know there's already solution that exists, and I wanted my solution. I do a lot of YouTube video and I wanted a way to put simple URL, short URL in the screen, have full control of that. And I was like, ah, that would be cool to do it using Azure. So I did that. Uh, Azure static web app was not there yet. Maybe I knew it was coming or not, <laughs> but uh, so we created like a temporary solution where like we, we were having like a full website. So it was that, and then Static Web App came out, so we changed that, we moved to AD, and now we have two app. It's We need to use Azure Active Directory and stuff like that. So, like it become different. What I like about the previous version is that you can attach any front end for the admin part. and. A few user, a few community member created like SharePoint stuff and everything. But now that I'm using the version with IAD, they cannot do that. So I kind of kill that uh, community actions. And I, I feel guilty of that. So I think what I want to do is, and it was suggested at some point by uh, Stefan, um, and I was like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to really uh, maintain like two version and stuff like that. But I think I want. So my thought is, the AZ URL shortener that will be my main project, and that's where I will be focusing. I think more energy because that one will be for everyone, kind of general. I don't know how you translate that, grand public. Like for everyone, right? Reaching like big reach. Easy to use, simple, you got everything, like a one solution kind of things. Uh, so, but that one will really be focus and target for Azure Static Web App. And I wanna use the security that is included, embedded inside Azure Static Web App. So I think it will simplify a lot of stuff and by sticking closer to the Azure Static Web App, it will make it, will make it a little bit more easier. And that means I'll need to remove everything that is not part of it. It also means that the tiny Blazor and Mint website will be merged into that one. So it'll be one project, everything will be there. 
the V1, I think we should have maybe a AZ or L shortener standalone version. And that one will be just the Azure function, kind of headless mode. And we'll be able to bring it up to speed with the latest and greatest library. And that will be a point where like a bunch of people could add reference, create tools and stuff like that, but not in my repository, in their repository and make uh, maybe like we'll have like extension or something like that in the GitHub. So to refer their stuff in there so they can have credit for their project. So I think that will be a way a more organized and cleaner stuff because right now I have like a bunch of stuff that I don't I, I don't really want. Like the tutorial, I think I was using that for one of yeah, I think it's in one of my videos. Yeah, so I need to to keep that probably. But that's fine. But in source here, like I have the admin tool, I have the shortener in admin, I have a bunch of stuff. I don't want that. So all that should be moved back to the owner of those project. Um, and I think it will be much better this way. Any thoughts? So I think that's my plan. I want to create, I, I, is it AZ URL shortener standalone? I feel like it's a very long name. Is URL short standalone? Short, like I, I, I. Yeah, that could be a good idea. The um, well, that's what I thought. Like, if I'm doing the um, in the AZRL shortener standalone, that's what I had in mind initially. Though I'm not sure how you could. Or well, maybe we could have different branches for different ut. Uh, I think my default was just like a user password in the uh, setting, right? Like I will, I will be falling back to that because it's easy in PowerShell. You could do a bunch of stuff, or like any like SharePoint, like you just pass a user password. At least it's protected a little bit. And then to call the Azure function is just like a token. And for the uh, and like the AZRL shortener will be kind of a, an example, an implementation of the standalone. Maybe I don't know how to do that. Could that's sad, uh, Adix. I forgot how to do that. Um, okay, I think I got it. Yeah, so I wonder if I think I that won't work. 
let's say we have the standalone version, okay? And now, how could you make different version? Would it be a different branch? Or you will be cloning that and adding like whatever you want? So it will be like AZ or L shortener base, <laughs> base class, base project. And then you add from that, I don't know. Or like it will be a module and then you create your own version from that module. Because I would love to have one URL shortener engine used in different projects. But for a static web app, I really need to have it here. I could use a module, but then it means the security is kind of embedded in the previous one. So it doesn't work because then like if you it's if it's using for example like for me i would like to have azure active directory it means if you want to use ot or twitter or whatever then you can't oh and i think See, that was cool when like we have all those stuff um, and I think I would prefer that and that should be in the standalone version because right now like you need to go in the branch and pick branch v1 where like if you go here and then like you go in main v1 then the branch are there but like nobody know that knows that no, no that. Well, so uh, I think it needs to be two project. But if I do that, Yeah, I think I will do that. And I will be able to clean that one. Oh my God. Is it the real Shirley Dev? Hello, sir. How are you? The real one. Hello, my friend. Nice to see you. And the cryptographer land with 45. That's cool. <laughs> I'm happy to stream today. I didn't have a lot of time, but I thought it will be uh, it will be good too. It will feel good. There's one thing, I don't think, is there? Let's, let's do a thing. Because I'm not sure if it's fully implement right now. Ah, that's fine. But like, <laughs> sad to see you gone after 35 minutes, but like, I'm happy you jumped in and, and say hello. It's really appreciated. So let's try to create a new project. I'm not sure if, do you know if in Visual Studio there's an implementation for, oh, you know what? Let's go full screen. 
in Visual Studio, is there um you? Okay, that was that was long. Let's keep all languages for now. Azure. Is there a static web app integration? You know? Storm, storm, storm. What's happening in the, with the project? Well, I cannot keep up with everything and there's some issue in complexity because it's two projects like the back end and the front end and I need to merge that. It's like I'm like it's okay to do it, but it could be simpler. So I was thinking maybe I should do a simpler version, having the AZRL shortener fully focus on static web app, like everything in one. So Tiny Blazor website will be in that project. So th those two projects will be merged. But everything that was V1 before and that was less attached to Azure Active Directory, and I understand that Azure Active Directory complexify things for integration when you're not used to. Um, I think we could move that out. I don't know. And I know we, there's a way to pass security and stuff like that. Um, but right now, I think it's just Anthony. Anthony Shu is a PM on Microsoft, and he creates a library. Um, it's the secure, secure view, I think. Maybe it's that thing. And to me. Is it this? Serving static file from Azure function. No, that's not <laughs> that's not what I want. So cool. <laughs> I never notice like there's different color for everything. So that's not what I want. Um, if I search that's the one I'm looking for. So in this one, but right like Anthony Shu is a PM for Azure Static Web App uh, for Azure Function. I'm assuming at some point this will be integrated in like it's a preview. So like he did try stuff, it's working, people are using it, right? So I think eventually it will be integrated in like the Microsoft library. So we could use that. But the beauty of this, let me show you, is we could use uh, like, you know how we now we need to create those two app in the AD and then like use them and it's complex and stuff. We could all remove that part. So that would be better. Bunch of blending. I don't know why I didn't hear any sounds. That's strange. Yay! 
Huh, CB doesn't have any sounds. I'll need to fix that. So yeah, so I was thinking we could use that. Uh, let's put that also in a note. So maybe it's it's smaller huh, for you so I'll install the package and then uh, in the program in the web assembly we add this the the security right and we'll be able to have the some roots that's cool so authorize view data roots and you will have social provider that you can add also let's go see his example oh it's the same page Check out my similar at simple app. <laughs> Copper Birdie is in the house. Hello, sir. How are you? Not too bad. Is that, well, not too bad too. Is it the is it the proper answer? I feel good enough to uh, to be streaming this morning. I'm a little bit short in time, but I thought it would be interesting to be there. Yeah, I feel like we could simplify the code. I don't know what I should do. I think, you know what, before I start moving and cleaning and everything, what we could do is maybe create a new app. And test that library. Because with that we'll be able to use the profile the um, the role permission. So authentication and authorization for static web app, like you use the role. So you can create an authentication. So we could do that. Oh, 
there's some quote. Let's go in. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so quota shouldn't be a problem, right? I don't know how big is her stuff, but it's definitely not. Well, like, yeah, no, too, like that's that's huge. Her stuff shouldn't be that huge, right? Open and let's 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 start from scratch. New window. This one, those are my show notes. I don't need that. Move that on the side. try to create a new a new project and everything so do I have app service that's a web app Extension to open this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Publish local cone. Yeah. Huh. Um. Sure, what's what's this doing now? Did he create a new um
called it what? No, it doesn't create anything. Okay, let's try again. Create a new static web app. Create an HTTP function. Refresh. This subscription. How do you want to create this static? Publish look. Oh yeah, but I don't have anything yet. Create a static web app. Yeah. Select a project to create a new. Yeah, no, I don't have anything yet. Oh. So I need to have a new app first. That's strange. If I pick that. Let's close that and reopen it. I'm not sure I understand that uh, extension. I'm not sure I understand that extension very well. So let's change folder anyway. Uh, I need to go in dev and we'll be going in GitHub and F. Boucher, of course, and we'll create a new folder. And SA test. Cool. What's happening? Len Walker 2 is in the house. Thank you, my friend, for the subscription. 16 month, you're just crazy, buddy. 16 months. Mostly two kids. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Don't ask why I calculate it like that. <laughs> You're doing get good. Excellent. We're trying to simplify the uh, AZRL shortener today. And um, but before we do that, I want to try some stuff I saw. Uh, so yeah, we'll be doing that. So okay, so now we have that. So let's do a .NET new. Uh, I think I want to do a Blazor application, but I won't specify that I want to use AD. So, I will that net new. Oh man, uh, is it? Uh, Web assembly like that was them, and then the name will be uh, S A W. Uh, the name, yeah, and uh, uh, man, good. and the output will be an app and WWR. An app. Let's let's do app. Oh, an old project. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. There's someone. We, so you're talking about the. Um, the cleaner solution. There's someone in the community that reached out to me who want to implement a bunch of stuff for the cleaner. Uh, 
where is it? Subscription cleaner, I think. Um, yeah, some, I think that thing, so is it what you're talking about? The cleaner, yeah. Um, yeah, someone reach out to me. They want to implement a bunch of functionalities. Uh, I'm not like I like I saw that, but I was focused on something else. So I kind of read it. So oh yeah, sure, go for it. But like I, it was good ideas though. I forgot what it was. But yeah, you want to push that thing forward and like make it much easier. Even right now, like I think I didn't update that for a while now. So I think Azure Function or Automation could be pushed forward though. Like it will work. But uh, yeah. Okay, uh, so now, right, let's go maximize that. So now we have an app. So if I do ls app, okay, we have an app here. And let's make, make dear, and we'll do API. And in the API folder, I would like to create an Azure function. So I do create a new Azure function. You must have a project open to create. Oh. Yeah, I want to create a new project. So I want to go in D, uh, dev, GitHub, F, and then it was this and API. It will be in C sharp. Should we go that net five? Can I use this stuff in .NET 5? So it's better to use 3.1, yep. Never less than the latest. Oh, Grovosaurus. Did I dream or yesterday Grovosaurus? I saw Grovosaurus having his own animation on uh, Code Rush. I thought I was not a real user. Or oh, maybe it was something else. It looked like a Cookie Monster and a Tyrex kind of mix. Okay, so there was, but it's not a real user. Oh, it's a user that let use his account to... Uh... <laughs> ah, okay, that's cool. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, open in Fugit. That's cool. I learned I learned the other day what that project was. The Fuget? Is it Fuget? I think it's Fuget. to see all the package and stuff. I, I learned about that in the, uh, let me check, it was a, 
cast box FM. Let me just open that in another window. It's in merge conflict. What? Okay. Let's bring it. So this podcast is done by um, James Montemagro, Mon I think I like the Dutnut guy, and uh, Frank, I forgot his family name. Um, and he's the guy who, who wrote the that app here, that fail apparently, but uh, maybe just because Anthony did not do something correctly. But they talk about that and it was super interesting. Where it was. Yeah. Here. It was really, really, really interesting. Um, how he did that, why he did it. Uh, and then like Microsoft took that project and say, hey, that's cool, let's use it. Um, so yeah, let me share that because it was pretty cool. So strongly suggest to listen to that. Um, there it is. So you got three. You're lucky I don't even have one. Yeah, merge conflict is super interesting. Yeah, uh, I really like that. It's really, really cool. Like I have, you can now find Hello Word. Oh yeah, that's the thing, uh, Mr. Landwalker 2, if you want. Hello World is now available in podcast mode. So you won't see my pretty face, but you can hear my noisy voice. And um, yeah, this uh, IDL podcast is super cool too. Uh, I'm just thinking like tech stuff. Um, indie hackers, pretty cool. And it's English, like semicolon is really nice, but it's in French. Uh, Software engineer unlock, that's also cool. She does a lot of really cool um, interviews, solo coder, that's awesome. I was there once as a guest. Um, coding block, it's awesome. Scott Enselman with Ensel Minutes, it's pretty cool. Uh, Screaming the cloud, very interesting. Like there's so many. Are you like? Are you listening to podcasts? Like I know I share a few of my podcasts I like, but uh... okay, guys, let's. Are you? Uh, or Q X, it, it, you're looking what you're. Stay in English, please. Otherwise, I will need to uh, to ban you. Uh, 
Um, stay PG. This is a family friendly stream. Yeah, when I'm walking, uh, listening to podcasts doesn't always work for me because a lot of time I just uh, go in my head. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know why it's not working well. Driving, it's cool though, because like I'm kind of focused. Uh, though podcast is better than like uh, audiobook. Audiobook, walking with an audiobook doesn't work at all or very rarely. Uh, podcasts it can depending on like how like how busy my mind is but uh, audiobook uh, audiobook possible eh, I don't know when I'm walking like that's my way for me to think uh, okay so uh, what I was looking what I was doing Oh yeah, I was creating my Azure function. Wow, okay. So let's do the .NET Core 3. Wow, I would like to do .NET 5 though. Let's do .NET 3. Uh, skip for now. Yeah, actually, I find that I start thinking when I'm walking and stop listening to podcasts when I... Yeah. Yeah. That's not what I expect you to do. Uh, let's dot dot. Yeah, even when I was walking, uh, working like uh, in an office or something, like when I had some issues or like situation, I was like. Okay, I need to do like a few uh, run around the block. <laughs> Not run, but walk around the block. And I was just going in my head and just like brainstorming, like sometimes bringing someone with me and sometimes just in my head. But yeah. Um, okay, yeah, sure, add stuff. Yeah, I miss those. I prefer walking in the morning. Lunchtime sometimes it's, it's too hot. Car park, yeah. I hope not in your car though. An hour ago? Yeah, so morning, no, like it was lunchtime for you or is it lunchtime now? Oh, then the sea, yeah. Here, like I have, I don't have sea, but I have water. But um, uh, is there a sidewalk now? There's no sidewalk. We're sure share the street, like the bike, the people on foot, and the cars. Some people don't know that. Mostly three. Yeah, so you are five hours kind of in advance of me. Here it's it's mostly 10 a.m. Okay. Uh, so we have an Azure function in API. And in apps we have our 
static web app. Okay. So now if I want to try this thing, we need to add this. So we'll do that right now. Adding back the uh, terminal. Let's move it down. And I'm doing this. What did I do wrong? Oh yeah, because now I need to do it in the good folder, right? So CD app. And now I do this. Cool. So now let's just as curiosity, the app project. Oh, like it's sad though as a name. Yeah, so my app is in .NET 5, but the Azure function is .NET 3. I don't know, can, can we do a static web app? Azure function .NET 5? Not sure. Um, okay. So we have that now, that's cool. So now he was saying like, add, and this. In program.cs, let's look at program.cs. So add scope. We add that, and now we need to add uh, the uh, for the builder thing. We need to add this, right? The add static web app authentication. What's that? Wait, what? Let's you know what. Let's bring that full line in our program. So I could understand. So add transient. Whoops. I should be able to add this thing. What's happening? Not looking at the good camera. White Panther. <laughs> With a rate of sixty eight. All right, all right. I will welcome them. Make sure everybody's in before. Hello, hello. Welcome aboard, White Panther. I hope you had a great stream. What your stream was about? Let me know what you were working on. I usually stream. I usually raid you. And now it's the other way around. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Welcome raiders. So I'm Frank Boucher. Uh, I'm a Microsoft Cloud advocate, and I have been not streaming for a little while. Tired. I was doing a lot of things, and every time I was not sure, not feeling good enough. But today I'm back. So really happy, and it's a uh, Google Analytics API stuff. Ah, ah, I have a project where I'm working on that too. Maybe we should talk. <laughs> Avoiding doing things twice. 
I'm doing a lot of stuff with API and I found some gotcha, I opened some tickets, bunch of things. Uh, yeah, I have a collecting a lot of information. I have project where I work with different people in the community. So like I have, I have two purpose to collect data in, in, in YouTube. I have a channel that I own that I want to get more data and build dashboard. Uh, and I want to have not for every video, just like few videos, because sometimes I'm on a YouTube channel, let's say Microsoft developer channel, and I don't want all the video from everybody. I just want a video that are part of Hello World in my case a show, so I'm collecting information, so I'm trying to build information. And for an open source project, uh, for like a project that I have with the community, it's everybody's doing video in different channel. I need to funnel all of that and make like, hey, this is the project, how it's going and things like that. Uh, so I build different tools to do that. Um, so a lot of fun. Uh, like I did have my project, I just wanna not lose my, Clipping, I'll just put that temporary. Temporary. At a very high level, because I think I have a lot of code not pushed yet. But I can share the initial stuff. It's AZ YouTube stats. I'm using an Azure function. Let's do a note, put that in the show notes. There it is. And thank you for, I saw a few uh, subscription. Like there was a lot of activity. Thank you for the new subscription. Uh, where I can see that. So, uh, Hell Suxio, thank you. Coding Garden Fan, thank you. Uh, G Man, thank you. F finite Singularity. Thank you, Jan Alex Hart. Thank you, White Panther. Like join. Okay, cool. Like I'm up to date, and and now more. <laughs> I will miss the name in the screen. Uh, UK Mad. Thank you for the following. Thank you all. Like so many people. Yeah. <laughs> and Lan Walker too. I saw you earlier, but thanks again, my friend. Let's start the first. Yep, 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 yep. Why the name is not display? I don't understand. I need to fix that. So GVU8, thank you for the following. Um, yeah, so this thing is using an Azure function um, and the way it works is I'm so like, I could track any video. I create a list that I like. If they are in a list, then I will go ask the YouTube uh, API all the data by video containing the list. So like it could be many different stuff. And obviously uh, it won't be like user retention and stuff like that because uh, you don't have access to that. Unfortunately, that's really sad. Uh, but you don't have access to that. But all the public, so the views, the likes, the comments, and stuff like that are pretty cool. I would love to have user retention, but that looks like it's just possible through um, the UI. I found something else. Oh, I start working. I think I found a way to do it. Uh, I'm working on something. Uh, It's not committed because I'm working on right now, but uh, using a nut like so, using another. Yeah, if you go in YouTube Analytics 2 instead of the um, stat, uh, like there's stuff available in another API. Oh, what's the API? 
So yeah, if you go in YouTube V3, you have a bunch of stuff, it's pretty cool. But then if you go in YouTube Analytics V2, there's stuff there uh, and you can have a little bit more, I think. Uh, but I think you need to be a uh, owner or like have access. The other one is like public, public. Anyway, fun stuff. API is fun. So uh, I'm sad I missed your stream because I would have been very interested. So today on our side here, we are doing some, um, the plan was to clean a little bit our URL shortener project. So I build the URL shortener uh, as just a way to create short, short, short URL, easy to display in the screen and have something that is very cost friendly, budget friendly. Um, so I start that project and it evolved in time. So initially it was just a standalone and people can create a bunch of front end to like admin. So create new URL because in the background, when you call, when you consume a short URL, it's just a backend. So it's an Azure function. So it costs nothing or mostly nothing. Uh, so that's, that's working well, but then I kind of upgrade that, merge that in a static web app, and now it's getting complicated because like I'm supporting too many things. So I was thinking of maybe splitting and have like the finite version of it where like you have a front end, a back end, and it's all kind of working together and a standalone where we could have a bunch of fun and have the community create a different interface. But before doing that, uh, there's a library that is in preview that is not yet Microsoft, or maybe it is. I, I poke Anthony, but uh, since he's not in my time zone, he's still sleeping when I reach out to him. So maybe today I will have an answer. Um, he created that thing where I could pass some security and have uh, some security in Azure Static Web App between my Blazor Web App and my Azure function. Thank you for the following night light 90. Very appreciated. So many new friends today. That's cool. So I'm assuming that will be merged eventually in the Microsoft package. But for now, it runs from Anthony uh, subscription. So we're just trying to see if that will work in our scenario. I'm pretty sure yes. But just in case before, you know, like moving all the code around and everything well just doing a simple app to test it out so we created an empty blazer webassembly webassembly because it's in net but it just client side so that's why we'll be using a static web app so again cost zero and the azure function everything is in c sharp I like C sharp. Sometimes I do the, uh, JavaScript or other things, but mainly C sharp or .NET at least. No, C sharp. I like, I shouldn't say I know how to code VB. Uh, otherwise, I will get a bunch of headhunter say, "Hey, we have a great opportunity with you, VB6 senior uh, program." Yeah, no. <laughs> I delete that from all my CV resume. LinkedIn profile, like nowhere. You cannot see that I know that. Let's go full screen. Okay. So we did add the .NET project and now we are modifying the program to add this add static web app authentication. So, and I, I was just need to it add this. <laughs> Dumb fix, yeah, do you think? If a recruiter client me with a six role, I would be like, how much? No. When I was just getting out of the school, so we're talking a little while back, I got Huffer because like I did my, um, how do you call that? Intern, like, you know, when you're at school, but you're working, but it's kind of part of your school stuff. I don't know how you say that in English. I think it's a co-op program, but I think it's a thing in like in Ontario. It's not a internship. Okay. Yeah. Internship. So I did my internship like in a 
big box. Lotto Quebec, so like it's lottery for Quebec. And I was like DBA in, intern and I was for, for sure having a job after. Uh, it was a compli complex stuff. So I learned the things, I learned tandem. Um, but this company is highly politics because lottery is managed by government. So at the end of my internship, uh, the president of that company changed. So they froze any new entry or out. So like the school will just tell me, well, uh, you know, take some vacation and enjoy your free time. Uh, for sure you have a job, you have the job, but like take a month or two and just enjoy. It was like, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get paid for that internship and my wife was pregnant. So she was not also working, so she didn't have her full salary. So I really need money. <laughs> so, you know, in short, I didn't wait. I found something else. But for one year or even like more than that, I was ha having offer. I was three times my salary. <laughs> So I was working for X and that company was calling me and offering me three times my salary. And my wife was just like, damn it, take it, take it. Like it's so much money. And I was like, no, because if I go there, I will be tagged with that tech. It's very narrow and it's very boring. There's no creativity. It's just like very, <clears throat> I was like, I don't want to do that. So uh, yeah. And like my, my point from Dev is I don't accept job for money. Like I need money, you know, if, if you reach my level of comfort where like my mortgage, my expense for a living are paid, then I'm fine. Like you won't get me just with money or at least not yet or not big enough. It needs to be really like, but three time is really big. But uh, yeah, first it was two time and it was, nope. Three time, I remember it got me think. It got me thinking a little bit more. But I need to have fun. I need to create, I need to be challenged, challenged ten, like I have challenges and stuff like that. So yeah, internship. Ah. Uh, I took a job under a prison. Yeah, I did accept VB6 job in the past and it was like, yeah, could you enter? Oh, hi. Hey, Code with Sean is here. Bonjour, how are you, my friend? I did accept VB6 position in the past and it was like, yeah, we have this VB6 thing and would like to migrate it in .NET and like you will be in charge of that. I was like, oh, that's an interesting challenge. I will do that. But then clients were asking new feature and you got stuck and so like before you do the migration, could you change that? Could you apply this thing? And like like one one year, two year after you're still in VB6, it's like it was like, okay, no, no more VB6. I'm I don't know not I don't know VB. Like I don't know, it's a mistake. Like I, I don't know VB. So I stopped doing VB because of that. Damafix, thank you for following. It's really appreciated. Damn, you know what? I'm really happy I streamed today. Yeah, VB6. Like, I mean, it was a good language, but I would prefer, like, being in VB, I would prefer being at least in VB.net. Like, I don't want to use old tech today if I'm building new app. Like, I would prefer start with a language that's more new and, and structure like so like if it's a for a migration and stuff like that that's cool but i was new i was young so i i needed to, something to grow and not be stuck in okay yeah i would like yeah sure i would work for the migration application sorry over if i have <laughs> yeah but like, I think sure, Dev, you're a contractor, right? You're, you work for yourself. So uh, yeah, like I, I I didn't do that. I had a new family, so I was really looking for like a permanent position. Oh, 
Cool. <laughs> like, VB6 was cool, but it did simplify a lot of things. And having like double click on a button to generate code in the background kind of thing was awesome because now a lot of people could program but that was not a, that was not sustainable that's like a bunch of copy paste code so like to maintain it it was just a mess because you could have good code in vb6 but most of the people were not using vb6 correctly because it was done through like the ui and double clicking for a button so oh, yeah this will do that and then like another button and they like oh yeah copy paste the code instead of doing a function or something like that not a function was it how that would call a method i forgot the name remember infopath yep but even infopath that was like 10 years after vb6 <laughs> module Oh my god. But no, so yeah. Okay. So now we have the using. What? Oh. Cool. So now we have that. So I'm just following Anthony Shu uh, kind of tutorial in, uh, in Nougat. So I, will, I had that already in my um, show notes, but I will paste it again in the chat if you are interested. And if you're wondering, Frank, what is show notes? Well, you're watching behind my cloud right now. And if I can type correctly. So all the stream are then archived on YouTube and like you have a summary of everything with the show notes and like have like all the time logs are there, like people are following. If you play the games with drop and you lend your high score also saved by CB. CB is a short for cloud butt. This guy is tracking a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's a Friday project where we add functionality into it. Oh, sure enough, maybe you didn't see that. Let me show you that. So, oh, well, like, let's let's wait until the the cloud of the game disappear. <laughs> what? You used to like going to bake potato salt near. What did I miss? I don't understand that thing. Stall near Arndale. Okay, so I know it's really, okay, let's, I think if I use this, it will show better. So now we have two sets of clouds, so a lot of clouds. Uh, the blue one are coming from the drop game. In your that, okay, that's fine. Um, and the white one are coming from. I have now a new layer where there's always cloud because I really like cloud. So eventually the drop game will go away, except if sure like someone play the game. But so don't play, so it will go away. But if I want to change that, I could do something like exclamation point rain and now my white cloud will turn dark and it will start raining <laughs> oh we don't see it now huh? can we see it here yeah we see it here a little bit that's cool right because my colleague Jason, who, who used to, to join my stream on Fridays, he thought like the rain was a very relaxing so like sound. So I was like, you know what? Like if I'm streaming, I will just have rain sound and like very chill, low music, just to kind of, you know, chill and code kind of thing. So I did that for him. But. Uh, I know it give 
a lot of people need to go for a bio break, like you know, P. So let's let's bring back the sun. That's cool, right? <laughs> I have the sun, right? I like it too. Thunder. Okay, let's let's go back. Our wind time. Okay. Well, we can we can manage to to do some stuff. So let's let's go back. Uh, so we did that. Okay. So now in the app razor, update app razor. What? Oh yeah, I have a app razor. Oh. Ah, oh, I think that's why. Interesting. So CB now is not celebrating with sound, I think, because I needed to change uh, the way I manage sound for my chatbot to be able to stop the rain. And I think it gets lost. Uh, so that's the problem, I think. Because rain is a loop. Uh, and so I needed to 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 have to be able to have that in loop and by default uh, then like if I set my default sound in the chatbot as a loop then like when CB was saying like yay like that uh, like yay. like this then it was like yay 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 for forever and it wasn't good so we changed that I removed it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Do it. We'll be a cloud on the beach. I like that. Okay. So add a cascading authentication state and authorize root view. Let's bring all that and try to understand. Cool, thanks, Shirley. So if you want to play the game, you just need to do exclamation point drop and you can add an emoji if you want after. Uh, so I need to add that. And the authorize instead of this. <coughs> add and uh, nah. for more information, check Blazor security doc. Oops. Though, was it the same thing? <sighs> yeah, okay, it's the same thing. Cool. So we have that. Okay, so now. Log the user into the static web app by using social. And the context user will use this. Now maybe I should have. Um,
Yeah, that's what I want to use, but how do I... should have done my app using um, okay let's just had Like, where is that? Use context user to get information from the user. So that will be like that part. That's what I want to use. Like it, now in Azure, you have in the portal, you can create stuff. So that would be cool. Uh, so instead of being stuck with Azure Active Directory, it could be Twitter, GitHub, anything you want. Uh, so log in. So for example, to log in with GitHub, you could include a link like that, boom, right? So it could be something like, boom, like this. Here it was AAD, I think. Oops. Quebec Dev. Yep. <laughs> yep. Right. And thank you for the following. See, now I see your name. Why the others? I was not seeing their name. That's strange. Maybe I was not quick enough. I'm at Il Peru, so Montreal, to make it simple. Where are you from? Yeah, it's been a while since I did that. Drop the like city country you are. So I'm in Montreal in Canada. Dona Kona. Oh, that's cool. I don't know that city. That's nice. I have good friends, a lot of good friends in around uh, Quebec. Okay. Nice, nice. Well, welcome to the, the stream, my friend. Welcome to the stream. So... So now I will need to have some roots. Ooh. 
You started to learn C Sharp because of Unity, and I'm loving the language so far, better than Java. Well, I think it's different, but uh, I also prefer C Sharp. I took a decision a while back to uh, focus more on .NET C Sharp than Java. I'm happy with my decision, but uh, I think both languages are pretty good. I don't want to start a fight here if there's Java <laughs> people in the chat, oh, but. Uh, hi. Yeah. Stefan, hello my friend. I was just uh, talking about you earlier. <laughs> yeah, but I'm happy with, with C Sharp. How are you, Stefan? It's been a while. I'm talking about, I was uh, planning, um, I was planning about the uh, URL, Azure URL shortener. And uh, I may create a standalone version. And it will be the V1 for non-professional. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Sure, yeah. So yeah. So uh, remember all your interface and front end and stuff you did, Stefan. I would say I, one thing I would really like, and I like one reason I'm struggling to make a move here is because of all your stuff. I don't want to delete anything. But let me explain short, like in short summary, because I did it previously, so I don't want to over repeat, but some, someone land. Oh yeah, cool. The onion, what? The unoriginal jerk. I forgot your, all your names of your bot. Uh, 99.01, I think we have a champ for today. Okay, so the AZURL shortener will become a relief Azure static web app focus. So I will probably, not probably, I would merge the tiny blazer and then project in there and I will clean everything that is not that project. Meaning all your uh, code will, will disappear. But you know, I don't want to delete them. So like this project will be like everything, one simple pack solution and it will be easier to implement because a lot of people are using it. What I want to do is AZ URL Schoener when I did it, and right now we could call that V1, that could become AZ URL Schoener standalone, and that will become a more community open project where like people like you could create a bunch of interface and we could have, uh, I don't know, a way to have like, hey, I want to use up, or I want to use like something else, like a user password security and things like that. Uh, and if you want to do interface for it, then the interface need to be in your um, GitHub. And then we'll have a page where we have like all the extension or like, I don't know, like maybe extension is not a good word, maybe like a connection or interface or whatever, we'll find a good vocabulary, but then like I could refer other website. And I think that would be better. What do you think, Stefan? So like my point is, sounds good, excellent. So if, if you st still have it, then that's cool. Let me know everything you have. You can ping me in private, you know how to reach me anyway. Um, what I would like is in the admin tools, like Power Automate, create in your GitHub repo this project. Bring the code over there. Uh, PowerShell, I think we, uh, I think it was you too. Like everything you have, just like create a project with that name in your repo. So we'll make a reference to it. Like that page will still exist, I think, but it will all be. Uh, hey, that tool, like what well, maybe one image or two, like it's over there. Uh, it will be easier for you. You have more visibility on your project and that's cool. I think we'll have like a better, and it will be easier. Those two projects will be able to move forward. We'll be able to bring up to date with the library of .NET in the standalone version. So yeah, white labeling. <laughs> what do you mean, Landmarker tool of white labeling? Oh, 
Okay, so I have that. Okay, so now... So I think now I just need to add a view that is kind of private and we'll be able to do that. So let's say in the app, I will create, uh, oh, you know what? Let's, let's put counter as a, a private view, right? So what I could do is just add this here So now, what? Not on a same thing. What? I missed something. I think I already did that guess. Yeah, but you add, yeah, so uh, Stefan, like you brought in that. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so you have all your, uh, okay, okay. So I will, then I think to like you could keep that name if you want like that like that's your subscription but I think my standalone project except if you have like I'm 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 open to suggestions right if if you have any suggestions um I'm looking for a name for that standalone version or headless I don't know how to call that or I don't know uh but it won't be v1 it will be something different it will be another structure and other things and it will be like hey this is just kind of the engine uh, or maybe it is AZRL shortener engine I don't know backend I don't know I need, I need a name right now I have standalone but yeah if you have any ideas let me know um okay what was the error message using namespace directive can only be applied to namespace Authorize view is a type of thing using static. Let's create another page. Come here, another page, we'll call that.
No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. Someone is hap if I have so he has a login provider counter is not protected. Fetch data is protected. No. Index is protected? No. Which one did you protect my friend? Oh, that's... Yeah, that's what I want with the provider. That's cool. But... Which page did you secure with your stuff? Version was cancelled. Yeah, I know version was cancelled. Context does not exist. What I'm missing. Okay, so I did that. So now I'm like it's using the context. But where do you put this? By default, the odd provider will be blah 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 and to determine if the user is logged, get the information about the na -na -na, configure Okay. I will take a latte, please. Do you do latte heart? I'm 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 dry. Um. Okay. 
Can you make me like a, a leaf or something? So in the app settings, I need to do that. By default, at me. Okay, if I want to change it, but that's fine. Hell no. <laughs> well, I'm disappointed. something missing that I don't see. Accessing user information from a Azure, Azure, Azure static web app. Ah, so I need to have that's in JavaScript. And C sharp I do this like that. Static web app what? Login, there's nothing there. It's just like it's a better way to do what I did, so that's fine. Like, I will do that in like a real one. I know how to find where to find the code now, but uh, in properties, no launch settings, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, you know what. Oh, I have a better solution. Uh, GitHub 1S. Oh, that's so cool. So now we'll be able to browse quickly. So program, that's exactly what we have. App is what we have. The roots, like, oh, okay, that's cool. The role is authenticated, okay. Index, there's nothing there. So, like, you're not calling your API. What's okay? Let's have a look. In the APIs, in the API, we have the weather, right? Oh, the, okay. Oh, 
But that... There's no author author authorization here. So from get value and it's looking for this try to get that and if not it's using this or it's combining them it's taking the first non null default value okay so if it doesn't exist, oh that's cool, if it doesn't exist it takes the other one, okay, that's nice. I didn't know that, that's cool. But there's no protection, how do you, so it's only... The only thing I don't understand is that thing here. Oh, is it? Is in. You know what? Let's do this. Now I'm in. I need to go here. And if I do Control H, no. Huh? Search. In the README. Ah, there it is. In the main layout. There it is. Okay, what do we have in the main layout? Uh, okay, so that should be in shared main layout. So we have that here. That's cool, main. And instead of having. So inside that thing, instead of just having the this, 
He's having that. Wee 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 wee! Let's put that here, put that there. Right? Groverzerus, land again. Copperbeard, land again. Lurky Dev, learn. Okay, so we'll remove this. We'll put our fancy authorized view. So and for me, it doesn't like context, but apparently for him, it's there. Okay, now it's working. So I think we need the page login provider. I will copy that then. That was a cool page anyway. So now I can close that. So if I want to make, let's say, fetch data protected, I think it's uh, authorized. What is it again? I think it is authorize. Attribute authorize. Yeah, I'm using, so that's the same. I'm using that also. Oh, interesting. So what he's using? Inject I configuration config HP client because he's doing that. Okay, let's just do that for now. And Jeff's hat also Len. That's pretty cool. Strangely, I cannot see my. We need, we need to do, we should try it. Um, okay. Um, let's try to deploy, it. Oh, like we need to push it. Um, 
first draft. Push it. Oh no. So let's do this. Apparently, if I have the code, I will be able to push it from here. So I say create. Uh, where is it? Create a static web app in Frank Demo Dev. How do you want to create the stuff? Publish local code to a new GitHub repository. Yes. Choose the so F Boucher. Swap tests is good. It will be public. Oh, no, just that is good. Uh, choose to build a preset configuration projects uh, like it's Blazor. Enter the location of your application. Uh, I put that in apps, right? And that was API. We'll leave it WW root and we'll do it in East US too. Let's see if that works. Successfully create the new blah blah and get up. Action is building. Excellent. Yeah, I want I want to see it. Show me. Show me the thing. I will have a new project. Um, I receive. I don't know, like. Let's go. Big big screen. Where is it? Oh, okay, I'm in the. Video. I received this. Out of box. Out of boy. I received that. I didn't open it yet. Uh, I'm waiting for people to receive it. It looks like I received it kind of in advance. Um, so I'm really looking forward to have some fun with that, some IoT project. So um, I thought we could be doing that. So uh, looking forward to see what's in there. Uh, I think that could be a cool Friday project, maybe. Whoop. Didn't work. <laughs> if you send it to me, I'll open it. <laughs> what is it? Um, so, out of box, uh, Land Warcraft War 2 is a like uh, one of those subscription box that you know like you you don't know what you will be receiving um, and add box is done by add fruit so it's a IOT project uh, oh there's a little component IOT uh, so I don't know so uh, really looking forward to see what's in there but I have no idea yet like there's there's nothing and I shared that in the uh, on social during the weekend. I think I received that last Friday, and people were like, oh, but uh, yeah. I could, you want me to call you just Len? Okay. <laughs> um, some module sync protocol version in it for what? Let's see. Yeah, it's app API. Maybe I shouldn't have put the this.
API. What? 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 Did he create two stuff? App is there. Ah, oh, but API is not there. I'm assuming because there's another get ignore and another get everything in that folder. Reveal in file explorer. Yeah, there's another git. I don't need that. Delete. expecting him to do that's not fun that's not fun that's really not what I was expecting him to do okay uh, let's delete that that thing uh, delete this repository My password it are they not the best password ever if you don't know them okay so here in apps okay in apps there's nothing in there's there's nothing so at that level I won't here right so now open this and I want to do a git init and uh, there's probably a lot of stuff I don't want though I should have kept at least some um, There's a git ignore here, so let's remove that. There's a git again. Okay, an app. There's nothing. Okay, an API. There's now nothing. Okay, so now if I open it again, let's see, let's see. Okay, so that looks more appropriate. So let's say first, so first draft will commit that. Excellent. So now I want to push that on this here. So publish local call to GitHub. Excellent. So this. 
swap test is perfect it will be public i just want this to be called this what oh okay Fifteen minutes. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, you know what? Let's call it like Landwalker Two. So what? Test Two, and it will be Blazer, and it will be App, and it will be API, and it will be WW root, and it will be an EST Two. EST Two. And I'm going super fast. No YubiKey instead of password yet. You know what? I have it. I didn't use it yet. Like, but it Batman is keeping it. I have my nice Batman keeping it. Um, no, not yet. I'm just scared. Scared to be locked out. Bought that, and I'm still not using it. And I think I have I have it now for yeah. Bought that when I was in Prague, I think. No, when I was in Copenhagen, yeah, Copenhagen, and I'm still not using it. Hmm, not true. Batman, I bought it. I bought Batman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it sounds great. I got my little Lego figurine when I was in Copenhagen. Copenhagen, Copenhagen. But um, yeah. Okay. But the uh, YubiKey was pro just probably a little bit after. So let's try to see my repos. See what's happening. Here I have my SWAT2. Okay, and here I have SWAT. So now is it and it fail again. Look like we'll have some um, debugging to do. Maybe with the uh, the official version then yeah it's failing. I don't know why it's failing. net platform oh uh, maybe it doesn't work with the dot net 5 maybe I need to be in dot net 3 maybe it, that's the problem okay uh, I need to wrap up because I need a bio break and after that it's a bunch of meetings and everything so um, yeah it was super fun to have you all today with me. Really, really appreciate it. Big thanks. Let's try to uh, find someone uh, where we should go. Any suggestions? How do I do that? Live coders, Twitch. Um, who's streaming? Oh, then, like, yeah, if they are there. Code it? What are you doing? I think last time I was live, I did see the... Code it. Live is not... Oh, is she is on... No, I don't see her. I say her because I saw a woman, but it's a him. I don't, I don't see him. It says offline on my side. Called wood. So yeah, okay, let's go. Even if I, aha, uh -huh, so you're trying to trick me. So let's raid. How many viewers do I have? Like I have a few viewers, it's worth it. 
Not train, Frank. Raid. Man, I cannot type. Four twenty-five. Show. Cool. And now I need to do stop. To save the notes and the show notes and everything. Welcome, not welcome. Thank you a lot again for all the new followers, subscribers. Super cool. Um, I will see you Friday. I'm pretty sure I will continue to work. Uh, I feel better now that I saw that Stefan has some backup, so I will be able to clean that up. So everybody will be happy and nobody will feel uh, less. So see ya on Friday. Have a good week, everybody. Bye.